In this video, I want to share some study and tips that can help you in whatever class you're taking next semester. Now, one of the first things that you can do while you're on winter break is to get a head start. That is to start early in studying for your next class. Whenever you study the material ahead of time, it's going to make it easier for you to learn the lesson when you're exposed to that same material in class a second time. Now, the second thing that can help really comes down to doing the work. You never want to fall behind in doing your homework, especially if you're taking like a math class or a science class like chemistry or physics. Each lesson builds on a previous lesson. So for instance, let's say if you didn't do well in lesson three, Lesson four, which will likely contain material on lesson three, will be even harder. So that's why you don't want to fall behind. In fact, it's better if you get ahead um, in these classes. Now, I want to ask a question for you, the audience. So those of you who are watching this video, what studying techniques helped you to do well and pass in your next class? Like, what did you find helpful? Now, feel free to post your answers in the comments section below. Depending on the response I get from this video, I may try to make another video in a few weeks that will include some of your responses, especially if they contain like valuable lessons or if they're just downright entertaining. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Now, for those of you who do want to get ahead, I do have some videos that can help you with that. So if you check the links in the description section of this video, you're going to find introductory videos that can help you get a head start if you're taking things like general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, algebra, trig, pre-cal, calculus, or even statistics next semester. You can also find this in my homepage here. So if you go to the homepage tab, well first, if you type in organic chemistry tutor, and you click on this, it'll take you directly to my channel. And you'll see the different playlists that I have. This first video will give you a good start into general chemistry. This video here, these two, they will help you for your final exam on general chemistry one and two. This video right here, physics basic introduction, that's gonna help you get a head start in physics. This video will help you get a head start in organic chemistry. And this will give you a head start in algebra, trig. And this is for those of you who are taking calculus uh, next semester. So feel free to take a look at those videos and uh, just watch them. It'll give you a head start for your classes next semester. So it'll be a lot easier when you take them. Now you can also search out these videos. For instance, if you type in physics, basic introduction, and then organic chemistry tutor after that, they will also show up in the search results. So you could do that as well. And if you go to the community tab, you could find many of my final exam videos, which can be helpful at the end of the semester. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And of course, if you go to the store tab, I have an ebook that will give you studying techniques that can help you pass your next math and science classes. Now, I have another question for you, the viewer. What classes are you planning on taking next semester? Are you taking chemistry, physics, Algebra, trig, pre-cal, calculus, discrete math, statistics, biology, genetics, microbio, biochem. What classes are you taking next semester? So feel free to post your answer in the comments section below. Also, what type of videos or courses do you want to see me create? Do you want me to see do you want me to create like a, a video on microeconomics, English, writing? discrete math, differential equations, biochem. I'm trying to see what the demand here is uh, 
for the next videos that I'm going to create in the future. So feel free to post your comments on that as well. I'll be looking at your comments in this video. And I may include some of your comments for my next updated video on this one. So I guess I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.